rates are set to double July 1st if Congress doesn't act soon. Fox 31's Colby Gallagher was at Albany Technical College this evening to find out how students are reacting to this news. I think it's bogus. Um, it's, it's not good. Students like Jerry Turner, teachers and faculty Fox 31 spoke with are on the same page in their opinion of what could be a devastating blow to those with student loans. While the interest rate is currently at 3.4 percent, cut in half by Congress in 2007, the July 1st expiration date is steadily approaching. President Obama surprised the public on Tuesday by revealing he and the First Lady didn't pay off their student loans until eight years ago, a fact that some students see as encouraging. I think that actually will send a better message, letting people know that our president has student loans and he's human, that, you know, it's okay to have a student loan. Others, however, see this to be disheartening for the everyday person. For the average person, is, I mean, it's just going to be an ongoing, lifelong bill. There is one thing that everyone seems to agree on, however, a higher dropout rate. I think it was going to affect the whole dropout rate here at Albany Tech. Students that are halfway finished, you know, they're going to run into that exact problem, the financial aid problem, and it might cause the dropout rate to end up being higher than it actually is already. Every year, students make the trek to the admissions office where they sign up for classes. But with the rate set to double, will this become the road less taken? People will just think twice before even coming back to school. Some students feel it's a lose-lose situation where they can't get a decent salary without a degree, but they can't get a degree without a steady income. President Obama is urging Congress to interfere before the deadline to stop this potential student crisis. But so far, no decision has been made. Colby Gallagher, Fox 31 News.